The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing us under of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly equipped unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2.24 And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient. Hebrews 1 or 12 verse 1 Therefore we also, since we are surrounded with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. James 1, 2-4 My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. 1 Thessalonians 5 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn those who are unruly, comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, be patient with all. In preparation for our study of the Word of God today, the next few moments will be devoted to silent prayer, the objective of which is to make sure that we are filled with the Holy Spirit as we approach the Word of God. Silent prayer gives you the privacy of the priesthood and makes the option of rebound possible if necessary. Uh, but for you unbeliever, the uh, issue you're facing is not rebound by, by faith in Christ. Therefore, let us pray. We thank you, Father, for your wonderful sense of humor, for your faithfulness, your relaxed mental attitude toward us because of grace, for the fact that you love us on the basis of your character without compromising your character. As we continue to study this great grace gift from Jesus Christ, may God the Holy Spirit enlighten us, for we ask it. In Christ's name, Amen. Welcome everyone to our daily Bible study. Bible study through the YouTube of the Vic Malbito Evangelistic Ministry. We are still focusing our attention in this study, the Great Power Experiment. So if you're ready, we will continue where we stopped yesterday. Okay, today we are going to take up the uh, radicals, X radical plus Y radical and Z radical. Now, what are these radicals? First, X radical stands for salvation. So, salvation, potential winner in time. Okay, so once a person believes in Christ as Lord and Savior, then he is saved and he is a potential winner in time. So that is the uh, uh, radical X. Now let's go to Y radical. Okay, you are now a believer in time. Now you have the opportunity to receive the temporal rewards to be parlayed in heaven. That is 
Y radical plus Z radical, that believer in eternity now. You have the opportunity in time, eternal rewards in heaven. Okay? So I hope you uh, got the point there on this uh, X radical plus Y radical and Z radical. Now, Apostle Paul said in 2 Timothy 4, 7, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. Now, the great power experiment are of the following. Hypostatic union of the Lord Jesus Christ and of the church age. Now, <clears throat> the basis of blessing us is through God's imputation of plus R, perfect righteousness on us believers, not on our own human good works. Now, there are two imputations that we have studied, real and judicial. The real imputation says that all people's spiritual death, okay, before salvation, through the imputation of Adam's original sin, so all people's spiritual death through the imputation of Adam's spiritual or, or, or original sin, that is before salvation. That's real imputation. Now, when it comes to judicial imputation, our Lord's spiritual death at the cross, that was judicial. While our Lord Jesus Christ went through all the sufferings on the way to the cross, what are the two powers that enabled him to reach the cross and became victorious? You remember? Number one is the omnipotence of God, the Holy Spirit's power inside the prototype divine atmosphere. That was our Lord's divine atmosphere. The second is plus H sharing the happiness of God, resulting to contentment. You see, contentment has been, or has to be learned, as what Paul said. First, let us elucidate God, the Holy Spirit's omnipotence, towards the Lord Jesus Christ's suffering. Our Lord Jesus Christ was victorious because He always resided in His prototype, divine atmosphere. For us believers, we can also be victorious if we reside in our operational divine atmosphere. So when we are inside this royal palace, we are walking by means of the Spirit, according to Ephesians 5.18 and Galatians 5.16. Now, Christ, who knew no sin, was made sin for us. All sins were imputed to him by God the Father. Now man, we know, is totally depraved. He can never save himself except through God's way, the perfect way of salvation. Christ is the only way to salvation by believing in Him as Lord and Savior, Acts 16, 31. He accepted judicial imputation of the cross, but the omnipotence of God the Holy Spirit sustained Him, plus our Lord Jesus Christ's perfect happiness, His contentment. You see, contentment, whether in prosperity or adversity, as what Paul delineated that we believers be contented, whether abased or abound. Remember the five uh, problem-solving devices in the area of spiritual adulthood? Well, you have personal love for God, impersonal love for all mankind, inner happiness, personal sense of destiny and occupation with Christ. Those are the five problem-solving devices in the area of spiritual adulthood. Whereas 
there are five problem-solving devices in the area of spiritual, uh, not adulthood, but childhood, which are rebound, feeling of the Holy Spirit, faith rest drill, grace orientation, doctrinal orientation. Remember the three spiritual skills, spiritual self-esteem, which is otherwise called cognitive independence. Next is spiritual autonomy, otherwise called cognitive confidence. And the third is spiritual maturity, otherwise called cognitive invincibility. Always remember, the great power experiment is available to every church age believer. Now, there are two sources of our Lord Jesus Christ's power. One, omnipotence of God the Father and God the Holy Spirit related to living inside His prototype divine atmosphere. And then the second source is sharing the happiness of God. Now, on God the Holy Spirit's omnipotence, related to residence inside the prototype divine atmosphere, the Lord Jesus Christ was impeccable, meaning he never got out of the prototype divine atmosphere. The Lord Jesus Christ was the very first person who resided in the divine atmosphere. His divine atmosphere is called prototype. And by his residing there all the time, he proved it successful. And he left it to us believers for our very own residence. Now the process or protocol to be successful on this is filling of the Holy Spirit plus Bible doctrine. Our Lord Jesus Christ died spiritually at the cross. He was the only qualified Savior to save us. Do you know why? Because of the following. He had no Adam's original sin. He had no personal sin. Not one that he committed. He had no old sin nature. He was plus our perfect righteousness and the fifth is he is the only perfect member of the human race. Remember God's ten problem-solving devices. By this time, it's presumed that you have mastered and learned by heart these ten problem-solving devices that God is providing us believers. One of these is problem-solving device number nine, which is plus H sharing the happiness of God. This kind of happiness, as we know, is a mental attitude. This kind of happiness is not based on things, persons, or circumstances. It's based on what? On the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2.16 Now, by the way, the Bible mandates us believers to use our mind, not our emotion. So we need knowledge, 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 knowledge from the Word of God. Now the life of a believer is supposed to be full of knowledge, knowledge of Bible doctrine, to be able for him to be doctrinally smart. Our Lord Jesus Christ maintained his plus H despite what he horribly experienced while he was hanging at the cross. Now, I want you to get this. Our Lord's happiness came from the perception of Bible doctrine as it is taught. If you are asked, why do you attend Bible study? Why? The right answer should be, it is my happiness. And this happiness does not change due to circumstances, to persons or things. It is what is inside of you. This kind of happiness is what we mean 
in the divine viewpoint. Christ said, this plus H that I have may be yours. Plus H. Perfect happiness. Listen, we can attain this kind of happiness through the intake of Bible doctrine, which we are doing every day. This plus H does not come from any collective action, and that kind of happiness may be full. It can be attained gradually through persistent, consistent, regular, and daily intake of Bible doctrine. In other words, it's developed by stages. You see, this kind of happiness is unique. By advancing in doctrine, we can reach the Pleroma states possessing this kind of happiness. Remember God's ten problem-solving devices? Rebound, feeling of the Spirit, faith rest drill, grace orientation, doctrinal orientation, personal love for God the Father, impersonal love for all mankind, sharing the happiness of God, personal sense of destiny, and occupation with Christ. In Proverbs 3.13, the Word of God says, Blessed is the man who finds wisdom and gains understanding. Now, what do you mean by wisdom as compared to understanding? Well, listen, wisdom is what we have been studying, and I hope it's already part of your soul, metabolized Bible doctrine. And then have this metabolized Bible doctrine circulate in the stream of your consciousness applied to experiences in life. Whereas understanding is the perception and metabolization and application of Bible doctrine. You gain perfect happiness through understanding, the only thing you can take with you. Now, what is minus H? Minus happiness is what it means. Pseudo happiness, a very temporary kind of good uh, or happiness at good times, but it cannot stand or last at bad times. What about neutral age? Well, this is a result of your following the laws of divine establishment. If you are an upright citizen. Now, this is also called divine establishment happiness. There are unbelievers who are more upright and more morally good. Moral and upright citizens. Whereas when we talk about plus age, that is perfect happiness. It is a mental attitude kind of happiness that carries over to the eternal state. It is the monopoly of the believer who has reached spiritual adulthood. Proverbs 3.13, happy is the man who finds wisdom and who gains understanding. Remember, God's power is available to all church age believers. The same kind of power was used and availed of by the Lord Jesus Christ during his hypostatic union. A believer who makes use of this great power experiment will no doubt experience success in his spiritual life. But again, it's a matter of choice. Remember, wisdom comes from studying and studying and learning and believing and applying and understanding the Word of God. In fact, it is our slogan in our ministry. Operation SLBA, study, learn, believe, apply the Word of God. Now back to plus H, or sharing the happiness of God. 
This kind of happiness can be acquired through the wisdom inside our mentality. Again, we cannot acquire wisdom without studying Bible doctrine. Always bear that in mind. Remember what Job said? Naked did I come into this world, and naked will I go out of this world. That's in Job chapter 1, verse 21. But the truth is, we believers can bring with us to eternity God's truths, spiritual things that we stored up for heaven. You see, in heaven, we will have eternal happiness. And this happiness plus age can be acquired while we are still here on earth. Do you know that? And this is acquired through what? By fulfilling God's plan for our life, the protocol plan of God, and reaching spiritual maturity in phase two. Our Lord Jesus Christ had this perfect happiness in his hypostatic union. That is why it's called great power experiment. Now get this. This is the only kind of happiness that can never be affected by circumstances, by people, or by earthly things. Why is this possible? May I ask you why? The answer is because Bible doctrine is now circulating in the stream of our consciousness. Our mind is now saturated with the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2.16 Now in Luke chapter 2 verse 40, the child, meaning the Lord Jesus Christ, continued to grow and increased in wisdom. In fact, he attained perfect happiness inside his prototype divine atmosphere. In Hebrews 12.2, it says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Now, this phrase, despising the shame, our Lord Jesus Christ did not mind. He disregarded the shame. Now, what are the four advanced problem-solving devices? The four advanced personal solving devices are the following. Personal love for God, impersonal love for all mankind, perfect happiness, or plus H, and occupation with Christ. The mature believer with plus H will not fall apart under pressure. You know why? Because he had plus H to keep him strong. Like what our Lord Jesus Christ experienced while he faced his suffering at the cross. Our Lord Jesus Christ resisted the temptation to sin while he was bearing all of our sins. So the great power experiment of our Lord Jesus Christ is a demonstration of the points of doctrine. A believer who stays inside the operational divine atmosphere makes him strong to face any circumstances in his life, whether adversity or prosperity. God's power is a sublime opportunity for every believer, and it is available 24-7, 365. The believer is supposed to know God's perfect process how to avail of it, thus be victorious in his spiritual life, which is called in Greek, eusebia, or in English, godliness. First of all, there is that feeling of the Holy Spirit, and this can be acquired by using 1 John 1, 9, and thus enter the operational divine atmosphere. From there, the believer avails of all of God's assets to use in his spiritual life. Our Lord used all of God the Father's 
assets, like residence in his prototype divine atmosphere, then he maintained plus H inside the divine atmosphere. Our Lord Jesus Christ had personal sense of destiny while using plus H, and he looked forward to his victory, strategic on the cross. If the Lord Jesus Christ has or was able to handle and face any kind of suffering, including his being judged at the cross, by using God's power, the believer has also the same ability to handle and face any suffering in life. When our Lord Jesus Christ died, his body went to the grave. His human spirit went back to God the Father, but his soul went to Hades to visit that place for the purpose of taking the captives, believers, to heaven. And second, by proclaiming to the fallen angels in Tartarus that he, the Lord Jesus Christ, is victorious against Satan. Listen, people go to the lake of fire because of their volition's decision to go there. One cannot go to hell because of their sins or because they have not sinned. It is only because he rejected Christ as Savior. Because it is faith alone in Christ alone. That's the only means of salvation. But it is a matter of choice. We will continue discussing and uh, taking up these uh, things tomorrow. So, don't forget to be with us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for that so great salvation. We thank you for sending to us your only begotten Son and for becoming our substitute in paying for our sins. And now as your children, we pray that you will guide us in our Christian life that we may be able to attain our spiritual goal, which is spiritual maturity, the capacity stage, thus glorifying you to the maximum. You who deserves all the honor, all the respect, all the love, all the adoration, all the worship, all the praises. All these we ask in Christ's name. Amen.